So first thing I want you to comment below, let me know what you guys have done in terms of SEO, in terms of content. Do you think it should be long? Do you think it should be short? Comment below and let me know or what specific questions that you have related to content or SEO side. How long do my blog posts need to be on my website for optimal SEO? Now let's get into it. So the first thing I want to share with you is the content is, should be as long as it needs to be. Google, what they care about is not about how long or how short the content is. What they care about is they want people to go on your content on your website to actually stay on there, read your content, engage with you, find it relevant to them. The keyword is relevant to them and then be able to get value from it and then be able to continuously come back over and over again and refer more people to your specific website. That's what Google cares about. It doesn't matter about the length, long or short. Now, ideally, if you could choose between short or long content, you wanna make it as long as possible or at least uh, have it to the point to your specific audience, right? That's another thing you gotta keep in mind. It's all about two factors. The audience that you're writing for, you're creating content for, do they engage more with the videos, do they engage more with the written content? So for example, a hack that you can have, for example, this video you're watching right now, is gonna be on my website. It's probably gonna be five or 10 minutes long, around that range. You're gonna watch the video. When you have it embedded on my website and someone searches for whatever search term this video is, let's say how to long form or short form content via SEO question mark, let's say. And then someone clicks on the post via Google Organic Search, they land on the page, they click on this video and they're watching it, that's even better. That's, that's what Google cares about. They care about the time on site. And then if there's short form content for this specific video or long form, and the audience can just scroll through and read the headlines, which is what most people do in most audiences, they don't read most of the body content, they read the main headlines to get the value. So again, the, to answer your question in short, no, it doesn't matter if it's short or long form content. If you had to choose between the two, it depends on your audience. And of course, short form content will save you time. So you got to see like different facets of this. The second thing is what Google only cares about is that when someone, your audience, when you're reaching out, when they type Google or for example, any search engine or any social network, when someone clicks on that link and they go to your website, how long do they stay there? And also at the same time, the bounce rate and also the, um, the how, how many pages do they visit afterwards? So those are the three things that you want to keep in mind. That's what they care about. The worst thing, and be the death of Google would be if Google saw people and they had a ton of search, you search whatever, you go on an article, you find it's completely unrelevant and you keep bouncing off. If every single person did not find Google useful in that, in that sense, you couldn't find anything that you wanted to search, then Google would die. They would lose their entire business model. So that's why that's the most important thing is they keep their searches very relevant. They make sure that the content that you produce, the website that you have, it keeps the target audience's attention. That's why you want to make sure your website speaks to your audience specifically. It solves their problems and helps them achieve a result. You guys hear me say this a lot in my Digital Secrets episode. Solve a problem or achieve a result. That's because this, those are the only two reasons why anybody would do anything in, in life and in business. So you want to focus on creating content around that. Uh, and some secret hacks that you can do, you can go on Quora, you can go on Amazon, read Amazon reviews, you can use Buzzsumo to find the most popular type of content that's so, so socially shared to use a basis to build off your own content. So that's it. Uh, I asked the question, I'll give you some more additional details too. So you get like more of a overall, uh, overall broad knowledge about what it takes to be able to rank things. So I want you to comment below, let me know what specific insights you guys have or questions you have related to what I just shared with you. Make sure you like this video, you uh, comment below with that and also you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon, make sure you guys get future releases to videos just like this, me sharing with you the insights on how to be able to grow your business online or just entrepreneurial overall. Thanks for watching.